It looks like a cool police car. Do I want that or the ambulance? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of got to have the ambulance, right? <laughs> oh, he's trying to screw with me. He's a troll. <laughs> I guess he just didn't have much will to live. Oh, hi. Welcome to another Pizzafied edition of Out to Dry with me, Mojo. And today I'm going to do what everyone in Unturned loves to do, which is drive a car somewhere adventurous and try to get an even better car. So the plan is to sneak over here to this orange car off in the distance and take it all the way back up to Alpha City. We've been there before, but we barely got to touch it. And I know for a fact there is a sweet ambulance there, and I want to take it. I want to be an ambulance driver. I have one in festive Russia in my Stranded Derps. That's what it is. Stranded Derps series. And it's excellent and I hardly ever get to drive it. So if I get one here, I can drive it all the time. So I have a bedroll. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this car all the way to Alpha City and get that ambulance. And hopefully it will have a little gas because I don't know where to get gas yet. I'm just hopeful we can get back to Pizza Street. If that's all it'll do for us, that's fine with me. We'll worry about the gas situation later. Okay, it looks like we're gonna run out of gas long before we get there. Maybe we can just get a few more feet. It looks like it's gonna be a long walk all the way to Alpha City though, guys. Hopefully there's not too many zombies along the way. And we're, oh God, wildlife. Is that gonna attack me? Is that gonna attack me? Okay, it didn't like that. I can I can see why. Most people don't like getting hit in the skull. But but he forgot. He has brain damage. Oh, he killed a thing. It just fell off the bridge. That's so sad. Thanks for the leather though, I guess. I don't know what to do with the leather yet, but I know there's definitely something you can do it with it. So I'm just going to begin the long walk all the way to Alpha City. We're not really that far, but then again on foot. This could take a while. Good thing I brought some food and whatnot. Okay, guys, we're finally here. There's my ambulance. It's just a matter of how heavily guarded it is and how much gas it has. I'm sure there's got to be gas somewhere in this town. I wish I could just cut and run with the ambulance, honestly, and just have it be mine to enjoy. Let's see what we got. 12%. I don't know if that's going to get us back. It would behoove us to find a way to get gas before we leave this city. But I might try to make a run for it. In any case, let's kill these guys. I spent some time um, skilling up uh, Overkill and Sneaky Beaky to max. So hopefully that will help us because I only have an axe. I have not yet. Ooh, that was nice not yet um, found a weapon I like, which is to say a knife. I really like using a knife. But we'll get one. Maybe there's one in here. It's a, it's a hospital. It's got to at least be like a scalpel or something. Okay. There's a zombie down there. I guess we have no choice but to confront him. Oh god, there's at least one in here. Hopefully not two. Periodic table. Very nice. Oh. I think he got me. That's okay. That's totally fine. I got his cough syrup. So I guess we're even. Oh, can I sneak up on him while he's just staring me down? Oh, he was tough. He did not want to die. Some of them are definitely tougher than others. I'm learning that the hard way. Some of them go down easy like it's nothing. They make you feel so strong, and then some of them just won't die. Okay, I'm going to finish out raiding this hospital, and then we're going to move along to remedying the ambulance situation and getting a ride out of here. Blood bag? Ew. Okay, I forgot in my haste to put down a bedroll. Classic mojo, right? So I'm just going to do that now. Um, I know zombies spawn over here, so I'm just going to retreat back, probably right under the safety of this tree, and throw that on the ground, and then we'll get started for real. 
And yes, I'm going to claim it. Okay, that looks like a cool police car. Do I want that or the ambulance? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of got to have the ambulance, right? <laughs> oh, he's trying to screw with me. He's a troll. <laughs> I guess he just didn't have much will to live. He didn't seem to offer much resistance. In any case, look at this bad boy. I would look pretty cool driving this, don't you think? Except that it's friggin' blown up. That thing is toast. It's like dead dead. Is the baton good for hitting things with? Should I stick with the axe? Sometimes it's so hard to know. It doesn't look like there's much besides a... F oh, there's a fire truck. Holy crap. Okay, I at least gotta go check out the gas situation in the fire truck. Because what if it has a lot? We could just <coughs> drive that. It'd be fantastic. around every corner. Okay, it, it is not necessarily very full of gas. We might just go back for the ambulance then in that case because I have a strange emotional attachment to that sort of vehicle. Let's just keep looking for gas for now. It looks like this might be gas back here. I mean, it says gas, so... Uh, let's just eat something first. I don't want to get caught unawares about my food situation. Let's just kind of carefully slide back here. Ooh, a mall. That could be fun. Botanist. Um, <sighs> I'm terrified. So I think what I'll do is try to take this, oh, this guy out first. And hopefully he'll go to crazy. <gasps> Oh, a knife. Oh, my God. God be praised. I need this. Yeah, go away. I like killing with a knife. I just feel more proficient with a knife than an axe. I finally have one. Now, if only I can find some gas and a container to put it in, life will be really good. Oh, 100%. Oh, look, right here, right here. Oh, man, this is going great. I don't know if he'll hear me if I try to fuel up, though, so I'm going to try to sneak up behind him and just get him in the skull and prevent the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, me. Nicely done. I should cut my losses and just get the gas and run, but I'm really tempted to just take this guy out so I can test out this knife some more. <laughs> I'll take your day pack. Okay, let's go in here and just check it out. There's got to be some snacks or something. And then I really will be on my way because that ambulance is awaiting. And I got to get her home and get her all fixed up and get her a nice garage to sleep in and really make her feel at home. Just get the gas. I think, I think that must have done it. So now we just got to get back there and fill it up. Hopefully no zombies will have respawned, but... I'm feeling more confident now with my sneaky beaky and my overkill. And um, as was recommended by a commenter, I think by the name of Sharon, I also maxed out my exercise, skilling up overnight killing trees. So between those things, I'm feeling a lot more confident. And I have this sick knife now. So I'm feeling borderline unstoppable. All right, here we are. And honestly, being in this town is kind of cool. I wonder if I shouldn't just pick up and leave and move over here. Oh rain. Uh, it's just a lot more to loot and a lot more adventure and it's, you know, closer to things. I mean, Pizza Street is basically Amberville here, if I recall correctly. If we were here, we could go check out this Griffinville and this military base. That could be so fun. But that's a big move. I have a lot of stuff accumulated now, so I think what I will do is just focus on the original plan Get some gas in this bad boy. Oh wow, that didn't that didn't do much at all. That's hardly any gas. I think we should probably just sneak back and get some more. I mean, what could be the harm? Here we go. Oh! Okay, I'm just gonna drive it over there. I don't care what zombies here. I'm not scared. And hopefully we can just fight them all off and not die at the gas station because man, that would be embarrassing. I don't think I fit through here. I sure don't. I sure don't. Oh, okay. That's not good. Oh, God. Get, get away. Get away. 
I need to get away. Oh, God, cut them! Cut them! Cut them! They're tough. They're tough. And my aim is terrible. But they're not that tough. They gone. That's all that matters. <laughs> Hopefully this car is not stuck stuck. Or else I'm going to have a bad time. Nonetheless, let's just go ahead and focus on refueling it. Hopefully I can get off this thing. There we go. And uh, maybe we can drive home without alerting too many more zombies. I think I remember the way, so this should be easy peasy. And I'll just leave my bedroll there because why not? And I'll just claim the other one when we get back home because I guess that's how it works. This looks like we're home. All right, final stretch. Ooh, I hear zombies snapping at my heels. They don't like that I got a new car and they didn't. So, you know, some people just don't want you to succeed. They're just very jealous and uh, zombies are like that. All right, let's stop the car and deal with it. Oh wow, they chickened out. They don't want a piece of me. They must have saw my sweet new knife. Yeah, I didn't have that last time I was here, but I got it now, zombies, so watch out. And I guess there's no harm in leaving this bad boy parked on the road here because I do not yet have a garage for it, but that's in the plans. I think that's gonna go right over here. Look, we got this sick ambulance all the way from Alpha City. We got a gas can. Everything is great. Everything is in good shape now. I'm feeling like super successful. Next time I think I will work on the garage for sure. So I'll need to get a lot of wood and whatever it takes to build a garage door. And then I think after that I want to explore some more. I had mentioned the observatory before. That's just awesome. So we might go cut through Alpha City and see that. And this, I gotta tell you, it's intimidating. But this military base military base is seeming kind of interesting. I'm going to claim my bed and say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time in another pizzafied episode of Out to Dry.